Welcome back. I'm so excited. My favorite thing right behind me here. Lots to learn. Fascinating stuff. I love rocks. Here's a little song. Rocks, 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 if we mentioned something that came from rocks, do you remember what it was? Here it is again, my lovely spoon made of metal. That metal came from rocks. We really depend on rocks a lot in our world, don't we? So there are lots of things that are made of rocks and I have some few things in my house I'd like to show you. So come with me on a little tour and I'll show you. Here's our first stop on our tour. I'm going to show you my bathroom counter. It is made a very special walk called marble. Very strong stuff. Marble's wonderful. Here we are. Here we are in a different bathroom. And these countertops are made out of a very wonderful rock called quartz, which has been crushed up to make up this countertop. And we are in my kitchen. And guess what? We have a rock countertop in our kitchen. Beautiful, strong, lovely granite. Very strong. And on our final stop in our tour, we're going to see the steps that lead up to my house. They are made of lots and lots of rocks. Look at all of them. Now I'd like to share with you a little slideshow that will teach you a little bit more, a few more ways that we all use rocks in our world. And here we go. Rocks are everywhere. They really are. Rocks are good for skipping. Have you ever done that? Rocks are good for climbing. Rocks are good for collecting. That's what we're going to do. Rocks are even good for making silly things. But what else can we do with rocks? Hmm. We can build houses with rocks. Have you seen any like that? Bricks are made from rocks. Is your house made of rocks? Hmm. You might find rocks inside your house. Many fireplaces are made from rock. Even some kitchen counters are made from rock, like mine. You can find rocks outside your house. Garden paths can be made from rocks. Sidewalks are made from concrete, which is made from rocks. Even roads are made from rocks. Things you use every day are made from rocks. Ceramic dishes are made from clay, which is a kind of rock. So is your piggy bank. <laughs> Even that vase your mom doesn't want you to break. The lead in your pencil is made from a special rock called graphite. Sidewalk chalk is also made from rocks. Have you ever found a rock you could write with? Hmm. Anything made from metal comes from special rocks that are melted, just like magma inside the earth and the volcanoes, and it's shaped into new things. Your forks, spoons, and knives, most of your car, your scissors, and coins. Rocks can make beautiful jewelry, diamonds, sapphires, rubies, turquoise, silver and gold are all rocks. The sand you build castles from is actually millions and millions of tiny little rocks. If you melt sand and shape it, you can make glass. Look at this gigantic rock. How did it get that way? But there are some things rocks are not good for. Rocks are not good for sleeping. Rocks are not good for eating. <laughs> and rocks are never good for throwing on the playground. Remember that one. Can you think of anything else rocks are good for? The end, rock on. So what do you think? Rocks are very useful. 
And guess what I have underneath my blanket? One, two, three. <gasps> have a look. I have my rock collection. Now I collected these rocks while I was walking in my neighborhood, in the watershed park, and also in that Burns Bog. Now some of these rocks I picked up because of they had some very special qualities. For instance, look at this big rock. It was pretty heavy. I liked it, the shape of it and the jagged edges. And look at all the spots all over it. it kind of reminded me of my countertops. I like this rock and the unusual shape that it is. I found some other rocks that were spotted, like this one here. Lots of spots all over it. Then I found a rock that I thought was really cool because it actually has stripes on it. Striped rocks, imagine. How cool is that? And then I found a whole bunch of rocks that were rounded. I like these round rocks. They almost feel like a ball in your hand. This one was special because notice it has, I don't know if you can see them, little holes in it. And a little girl from my class gave it to me because she knew how much I loved rocks. I like this rock because it's flat as a board. And this one also is really flat and very heavy, my goodness. Some rocks have different colors. This one has a lot of white in it. And so does this one. And it's so tiny. I like little tiny rocks. They're fun to play with. Some rocks have lots of blacks in them. Some rocks have reddish tinges. Look at that, really red. And some rocks are cracked. These little cracks in this rock. Wonder how they got to be there. And this rock I found interesting because it looks like it's been broken. See, it looks like it's about a half of another rock. Hmm, I wonder where the other half went to. Some rocks, Look almost like a triangle. Look at that. I found a triangle rock. That's kind of cool. And some rocks look like they could hurt you, like they could scratch you and hurt you. Now I'd like to share with you some rocks I found on my walk. <clears throat> this one here is a really large, large, large rock that you could climb up on and see everywhere around you. It also has a lot of moss all over it. I call that a bit of a climbing rock. It's kind of cool. I found rocks that people had put together to make little pathway, pathways. I like that one. Sometimes rocks are very useful when you're trying to crov, cross a stream. Look at these nice flat rocks that you can step on to get across. Rocks are very hard and they are fireproof. So many people will put, build rock walls around a pit and have a fire pit. Here's a nice rock wall. Let's build a wall. And some people use rocks to make chimneys for their homes. This is the place I found these rocks. It's called Watershed Park. <clears throat> now, I would like to share with you a very, very special rock. Here is my special rock. This rock has, brings a lot of memories to mind. Can you tell where it came from? It came from Costa Rica in a special rainforest. And it came, at the, came from the bottom of a volcano. And you see how black it is? And I'm gonna share a picture of me standing at the bottom of that volcano. Can you see me standing here on those, on those rocks, those big black rocks? And way over here, I'm standing far away, that's, that way I'm safe, is a nice big volcano where those rocks came from. Another rock that is very special to me is this one. Can you tell why? Yeah, it's the shape of a heart. And a very, very special friend gave this to me. And I always remember my special friend when I hold on to this rock. It's very smooth and it feels good in your hand and I often keep it in my pocket. And I'll just rub it and it feels so great. Now, are you ready? Would you like to make your own rock collection? I'd like you to do that because then we can use our rock collection to do some really fun things later on. Look in your neighborhood, look in your backyard, look around your house, look in some parks, look in schoolyards, look in wherever you can, wherever you go for a walk. I'll bet you you'll find some really cool rocks. They're absolutely everywhere. So collect some rocks 
And then there's a little um, video about a girl named Rhoda who likes to collect rocks. You might want to watch that for some little tips on how to find rocks. And then after that, we're going to talk about what we can do with those rocks. So happy hunting!